Good afternoon everybody, this is North Camp Pepper. I'm going to do a series of videos on, on tabletop hydroponics or uh, aero garden. So, I want to show you how to do it real simple. Um, I'm not using their chemicals, I'm going to use um, General Hydroponics, uh, you know, uh, Mer or Grow Series, Flores. So, basically we're going to mix this up. Uh, this thing should hold about, I don't know, a little less than a gallon, so it's a little overfilled. But I went ahead and filled it to a gallon mark, so I could go ahead and mix everything up. And then I'll put it in, in a, I'll put the extra in a coffee bottle, or creamer bottle, that I've cleaned out, to hold my excess solution. And then I'll just add it. But we'll go ahead and get this mixed up. You have to do, for general things like cuttings, I'm going to do a bunch of different stuff, but generally for like seedlings and cuttings, you do um, a quarter tablespoon, or uh, for your metric guys, uh, 33, uh, 33 milliliters, I guess. <laughs> Wait, that's not right. I don't know, whatever. I'll figure it out later on. Here, figure it out. Read the bottle. Here, you read the bottle. Thirty-three. Okay, so we'll go ahead and mix that up on each one. Same, but I'm gonna do a, a tablespoon for every one. Uh, because I'm doing general, uh, general purpose, that's so mild seedlings and cuttings. I do a quarter, but I'll mix everyone here one, two, and three. I'll put it in there, then we'll get a uh, total dissolved solid on it so we know what full nutrient bath is uh, um, to do that. So we'll know when they use up the nutrients, if I have to add more, add more water every probably week or two weeks, depending on the levels. I'm gonna just dump it and do the whole new solution over again. But I'll take some out so I can refill it if needed. Um, so let me go ahead and mix that up, and I'll be right back. Oh, one one thing first. You do each in order: one, two, and three. Um, and then you stir it before it agitates, so you don't get nutrient lock in there. Okay, so let me take care of that. Okay, so now that that's done, let's get our total dissolved solid so we know what a full bath is. I should swirl it around, bring it on the side, like one of my viewers pointed out, that you should get the arrow without. Got down there, and I hit the off button. <laughs> All right. So a full nutrient bath is 147 dissolved particles per, uh, I don't know, times 10. See the times 10 flashing there? So, <clears throat> that's the total amount. Okay, so now we're ready. Uh, let's go ahead and pull some back out, because we got too much in there right now. Oh, we'll see. We'll pull out two cups out. Two cups of solution we'll pull out. So now we have our solution there. We'll just set that over here to the side. Should have probably left in a dark bottle, but I didn't. And now we're ready, and then we just set this together. It'll start flowing. That's what the inside looks like. It's got a little pump in here. This is not the bubbler kind. This is the uh, actual flowing water kind. So put that in there. And as soon as it makes contact back here, it'll start running. There it goes. Powering up. Let me zoom in on that for you. Yeah. 
There you go. So it's running in there. That's how it works. So now we're ready for whatever seeds and such. Um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and knock that out and we'll go ahead and go to the second part where we put in seeds and whatever. That's how you get a nutrient with uh, general hydroponics, uh, floris, uh, flora, micro, and flora system. And there you go. So, next part of the video is we're going to do different types of making our own seed pods. Uh, we're going to transfer some cuttings in here. We're going to grow some seeds and do some other things. Now I'll show you different ways to do pods and different things need to be done different ways. So I'll be right back in the next video. So if you have pepper, please rate and subscribe.